What's up guys, Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7 and yes we have another video here um, this time got the good old Flysky uh, FS GT3B 2.4 GHz 3 channel transmitter now it's a great channel uh, in stock form it's uh, it's great just for basic um, you know RCing but if you want to do some more things like control some lights or a winch or um, anything like that it's pretty limited with this simple hack with uh, not too many uh, stuff here so a bit of cable here it's like the printer style cable I believe USB to a uh, not too short type of plug that is but we're pretty sure we've all got that somewhere around the house the uh, STMAS discovery board very cheap you can buy this on eBay so that's the hacking part another mod I want to do to this is install and get rid of the eight triple A batteries that's right eight of them um, with this one 1500 milliamp three cell lipo battery cheap as they bloody last for weeks and weeks on end and uh, yeah great mod and it's easy and just a bit of a cable as well that you need to plug in from the board on the uh, fly sky here to the actual discoverer board also you need some software online but it's all free heaps of forums and stuff like that to show you what to do and uh, yeah, if you ever get stuck there's heaps of stuff online but I'm not going to show you everything like how to solder all this kind of stuff I'll just show you parts of uh, what is needed to get this underway and just give you a quick idea so let's get cracking <laughs> Okay, so first things first, got to get rid of all the screws. There's one, two, three, four up here. There's two little mofos hiding under this little uh, bit of uh, sticker. So, saves you pulling your hair out. There they are. So, just make sure you remove that before you toss your transmitter against the wall, wondering why it's not going to come apart. But make sure you keep this little cool cat somewhere so you don't lose it. There's also, whoops, some around the back here. A few around, pretty uh, self-explanatory. I'll undo all those and see where we end up. All right. So one more quick thing to add. Make sure you pop this little this uh, knob off. You just get like a nice little sharp instrument under there. I'm taking it literally and got a razor blade, but there we go, it just pops off. So just make sure you keep that uh, somewhere as well. And also, just put your antenna up so when you pull this whole top piece off, it doesn't rip the antenna and the wire and, uh, yeah, get uh, all cranky pants about it. So there we go. Ooh, I love screwing. I love screwing. <sighs> never ending amount of screws don't forget keep them in a little jar or something like that and these ones that are on the side here are different lengths to the one that you see up top once you've taken the top off here just make sure just grab any other loose buttons so you don't lose them and uh, drop on the floor and get cranky and not find them because guaranteed they'll bounce somewhere like in another room or something like that so just make sure you got all those and there we go so there's the board so the main thing we want to look at here and like I said for more in-depth look at it these points up here we're going to solder this cable onto there and uh, yeah I'll show you that bit next Sounds simple, doesn't it? Okay, guys, so we're up to probably this is the easiest mod to do on these radios, and it is to replace the eight double A's that you need to power it on with one LiPo battery. Like this. So, all you need is one uh, 
three cell lipo got myself you know 1500 milliamp here it'll power this thing for months you know with general use all it is once you've got it open up to do the um the mod to the board there you can hack the existing one here that it comes with so that's the actual whole unit once you separate the board sorry that once you separate the controller comes out like that you can just snip these off like I've done here I had many of these wires lying around snip it off solder a connection up to your lipo whatever you, uh, whatever connection you have and that's it but if it'll focus and that's it plug it in and turn it on test everything's good happy days there we go super easy mod you don't need to um you can always if you don't want to you know you can always leave this in there cut these tabs out but i'm just going to get rid of the whole thing that's pretty much you know something to use for scraps or spares later on for future projects but yeah and pretty much these fit let me just put this in together back just briefly you know what? these fit in there perfectly uh, some foam padding on either side and uh, yeah, plenty of clearance for the doors uh, for the actual door so it shuts down but what I do, I'll get it all buttoned up and uh, nice and neat. But like I said, simple mod. Battery goes there in the existing terminal. Cut it off, solder a new one on and use a LiPo 3 cell. Good stuff. But what I'll do, I'll put it all together now and show you how it looks. Okay guys, so we're up to probably, this is the easiest mod to do on these radios. And it is to replace the eight double A's that you need to power it on with one LiPo battery like this so all you need is one uh, three cell LiPo got myself you know 1500 milliamp here it'll power this thing for months you know with general use all it is once you've got it open up to do the um, the mod to the board there you can hack the existing one here that it comes with so that's the actual whole unit once you separate the board sorry that once you separate the controller comes out like that you can just snip these off like I've done here I had many of these wires lying around snip it off solder a connection up to your lipo whatever you, uh, whatever connection you have and that's it but if it'll focus and that's it plug it in and turn it on Test everything's good. Happy days. There we go. Super easy mod. You don't need to, um, you can always, if you don't want to, you know, you can always leave this in there, cut these tabs out, but I'm just going to get rid of the whole thing. That's pretty much, you know, something to use for scraps or spares later on for future projects. But yeah, and pretty much these fit. Let me just put this thing together back just briefly you know what? these fit in there perfectly uh, some foam padding on either side and uh, yeah, plenty of clearance for the doors uh, for the actual door so it shuts down but what I do I'll get it all buttoned up and uh, nice and neat but like I said simple mod battery goes there in the existing terminal Cut it off, solder a new one on, and use a LiPo 3 cell. Good stuff. But what I'll do, I'll put it all together now and show you how it looks. Alrighty guys, there we go. All locked and loaded. Turn her on. Happy days. All works nicely as it should. And like I said, this battery, which you can get from Hobby King, this 1500 3 cell LiPo battery, fits in there like a charm see that you can always get it uh put some nice packing foam in here or something like that just to make it nice and snug uh you can always uh, and see there's the uh programming cable so if you ever need to change anything in the future you can just you don't need to open it back up again you just utilize that and plug in your the usb board there and to charge a battery obviously just pull it out but everything fits in there uh, like it should like that Happy days.
So I hope you like the uh, video. Like I said, I'm not going to show you how to program the board and all that. There's plenty of videos online which do a, which would do a much better job than what I would. So just wanted to show you how to open it up, uh, solder everything on, and put the battery in. So let me know what you guys think. Any questions, please uh, ask in the video. And uh, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And um, catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Peace.